Hi, I'm Elvie from Meadow Lark Log Homes, and I came here to a building site in beautiful Colorado. This is a foundation I came to check out for a house that we're going to build here, a log house. And this model is going to be the Swiss Chalet with some custom features you can see in the back here. There's a room, an entry in the back for this pop out on the back of the of the Swiss Chalet. The glass front will point that way to the view. And the those concrete pillars around are for the porch deck to go around this this uh, house. So I came here to see if uh, you know take a look at the site. It looks beautiful. They got the concrete uh, looks like it's done. It looks like it needs to be backfilled and ready. So we're we're trying to get in here before the snow flies this year. Right now it's September 2022. And try to get this built before the snow hits the area. There was a, a big delay with the building permits for the customer, for the contractor. And by the way, Dennis, the contractor, did a great job on this concrete. I, I walked around and looked at it. It's it's really a good job. So uh looks really nice. And they did a, a, a lot of, you know, did a lot of uh, pushing this summer to try to get the permit through, but the county was backed up. And they finally got their permits and got this this going. And we're still hoping to to get this built before the snow flies because we had planned to do it this spring. And we are about uh, six or seven months behind schedule because of the holdup. The log package is already built. It's sitting in Libby, Montana right now at our Metal Lark Log Homes uh, manufacturing facility. And so that log home needs to be shipped on two trucks. And we've got to put those log bundles, those white packages that we unloaded the loader, they've got to be put somewhere. So that's one thing I came to look at is to see uh, how this looks. So if they can put this dirt around this, uh, the, the, these piles of dirt around the, the basement, get that all flattened out out there, there's some room out front of this building where most of those two semi trucks can sit right on that side. And then where my Ram van sits over on this hillside, they can put some log packages over in that, on that slope. It's a slight slope, but they can boom out with that telescopic, uh, telescopic log, uh, log loader handler. And they can put them up into those bushes. They can put them right here where this dirt pile is here. They just got to get this backfilled, get some area made. And those two truckloads of logs can be placed on the slope around here and right there. So it's out of the way so that the tool trailers and the trucks can come in with materials and turn around. So there's from that excavator to the point over here in the front, that'll handle about two thirds of the logs and the rest right in this whole slope from the house all the way back to those leaf trees so uh, we can get the logs in here uh the contractor will unload the semi truck about a mile out there on the highway or the highway it's a dirt road unload out there where there's space and then they'll shuttle those logs in with a, a short trailer and a pickup truck bring them in here and then unload them here and when that's done when the logs are here our crew shows up and i believe that the contractor is building the floor i don't believe that we're doing that we do some subfloors, but when it's in Colorado, a long ways away, a lot of times we try to not do that because of the distance. Montana's about, our place, about six, 700 miles, 800 miles as the crow flies right that direction. So it's a little ways to drive here. So uh, we try to get them to put that subfloor down, put the porch decks down. We show up and set all the logs up and put the roof on and get the windows and doors all prepped and installed install the loft floor, install the railing, and that's pretty much it. So it'll happen. I believe we're gonna get this done before the snow flies. And uh, let's uh, see if, if uh, it'll happen. But it looks good. I don't know that I'll even walk around because you guys can see it from here. They got the footings in the in the basement for the heavy uh, frame, wa uh, the wall that would carry the heavy heavy interior log wall to the peak. So you have to start with a, frame, uh, a, a footing in the basement and a concrete floor and then frame walls on that footing wall in the middle, then the subfloor on top. And that frame wall carries uh, makes uh, carries down to the footings and then the log walls on top because there's a wall in the middle. 
very heavy, needs very heavy footings all the way around to carry the weight of not only concrete, but the log house. Think about it, two semi loads fully loaded of logs. That's how heavy these are, even though they're dry logs. It's two semi loads of logs sitting on that whole thing and it needs to be strong. So that's why you have to have a eight inch thick poured concrete wall with an extra thick footing on the bottom to carry our log homes. Uh, we don't allow any anything less than eight inches of a poured wall. No block walls. You can have a frame wall, but it has to be built up extra heavy. But we like a poured concrete wall, eight inches thick, reinforced with a lot of rebar to hold that heavy log house. It looks great. So thanks guys for watching. I'm going to tour through uh, Idaho, Colorado, New Mexico to visit building sites. And this is one of them. I am pleased to report looks excellent. Good job. And uh, we can't wait to get, get started on this uh, log house with our crew. And I, I don't know when I'll come back for video, but at some point I'll come back and we'll have some video of this nice house. And uh, what a blessing for the family that will live in this place, in this beautiful location, in these beautiful, quiet, and amazing surroundings. God bless this property and this place and the family. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.